This venue is the envy of every single arts organisation in Australia. <laughs> they walk in and they go, oh my God, how the hell did you get this? We wanted a place which had a sense of occasion when you came to it, to lure people in to see productions. You need all the help you can get with live theatre in Australia. And so those heritage aspects are really important. The relationship between Tonk and Council and us was incredible. It'll be something I'll remember all my career because it was so wonderfully collaborative. There was talk of cement foyers for a while. However, we said, how about a bit of timber? And Tonkin took that right on board and came up with some wonderful solutions. They recycled all the floor of the church and that became the ceiling of the foyer. Doors were reused for as panelling. There were some beautiful skylights that had been bricked up and they were exposed and reinstated. Some of the aspects of this building would have been lost if it wasn't for Council's commitment. They weren't obliged to go the whole heritage restoration with this building, but they've preserved it for the public. There was a storm and some plaster work fell off the ceiling when they first bought the place. And what was uncovered was this beautiful timber ceiling, 132 years old, pretty well preserved. They weren't obliged to replace all the stained glass, and they did. The actors love being on this stage. It feels grand and impressive from the audience's point of view, but it also is intimate and there's a direct connection with everybody in the house. Plus the acoustics are amazing. Plus the building has such history, they love it. What I love most is watching people's faces as they come through the door for the first time. They're so surprised that someone has bothered to make such a beautiful theatre. It'll be here for another 132 years.